Welcome back, everybody. This is going to be our Algebra 2 Exponential Functions Lesson 7, Mindful Manipulation of Percents Horka View, Part 1. If you find this video helpful, or please give it a like. And uh, if you have not done so already, please subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications to be alerted when new videos are added to the channel. Question number one says, equality is growing at a constant rate of 3% yearly. Which of the following will be a percent growth after 15 years? Well, when trying to figure out total amount, we can kind of use our, uh, use our formula, but the idea of the formula, we have a of t equals a sub zero um, times one plus r raised to t power. That's trying to find a new uh, actual amount. But when we're comparing rates, things are a little bit different though. A number of times we're asked to find the rate of increase or decrease in terms of a particular time unit. For example, we we'll know how much something has increased after a certain number of years, we want to know what the annual rate of increase is, or vice versa. Sometimes we want to know the monthly rate it is if we're given the yearly rate. However, we can't just divide the increase or decrease by number of years because of the compounding effect. So we set up the following equation. 1 plus k equals 1 plus r raised to the n. k is a total percent of increase or decrease over the total time period. n equals number of time units that have passed. And r equals the rate of increase or decrease per time unit. This will be the basis of, of how we solve a lot of the equations here for this homework, though, when we're trying to figure out one rate in terms of another. Let's go back to question number one. So the yearly rate, that would be r, is 3%. So r equals 3%. And our n value would be 15 years. So which of the following be percent growth? The percent growth is k, which we don't know. So we set up our equation, 1 plus k equals 1 plus r raised the n power. So we have 1 plus k is equal to 1 plus 0 0.03 raised to the 15th power. Now we bring out a graphing calculator to find the value of 1 plus 0 0.03 raised to the 15th power. So let's take our graphing calculator. And we're typing in, in this case, parenthesis, 1 plus 0 0.03 raised to the 15th power. And we get 1.557967417. Well, let's go 1.557967. That's plenty. So we'll write this down. 1.557967. And there was a few more afterwards equals 1 plus k. Now we want to find the rate, which is k, so we subtract 1 from both sides. So k is equal to 0 0.557967, which to, in this case, the nearest percent, we're going to multiply by 100, which means a decimal slide of two spaces. And so we're looking at 55.7, which will round up to k equals 56%. Therefore, the answer for number one is choice three. So we're using this idea of, again, we want to figure out what, in this situation, we want to figure out what the total growth was if the yearly growth was 3% a year for 15 years. For number two, if a credit card company charges 13.5% yearly interest, which of the following calculations would be used in the process of calculating the monthly interest rate? Well, in this case, the yearly interest rate, K, would equal to 13.5%, or in this case, 0 0.135. Here are the monthly rate we don't know.
And in this case, the number of months in a year would be 12. So we set up our equation, one plus K is equal to one plus R raised the N. So we have one plus 0.135 is equal to one plus R raised to 12 power. And one of the things we know how to solve for these, when we want to find the base, and with the base raised to a particular exponent, we're going to raise both sides to the reciprocal of the exponent, so 1 12 power. And of course, now we bring out our, gra our graphing calculator again. And so we're going to take 1, ooh, let's actually make sure Prince is here. 1 plus 0.135, close parenthesis, raise, now raise it to the 1 12th. So 1 divided by 12. And we get, in this case, 1.010608. Okay. Which we will probably round off. So in this case, we will get, we said 1.01060, it was eight something, so really nine, that's okay. Um, and is equal to one plus R. If we, and so we don't have to find these values. The question was, which the following would be process of the, of, uh, of, of solving. And we see in this case that this here, the 1.135 raised to one twelfth, is part of the process, and that's going to be cho choice four. We can solve for r at this point. R probably be in, will probably be. It looks like about uh, like one point one percent monthly. The county debt is growing at an annual rate of three point five percent. What percent rate is growing at two years, four years per decade? Show the calculations that led to each answer and round each to the nearest tenth of percent. Okay, so we know in this case that the annual rate is 3.5. So here, R equals 0 0.035, changing the percent to a decimal. Okay, and each of these situations is going to have a different is going to have a different k value because here for the first one when n equals two we will have one plus K is equal to one plus 0 0.035 to the second power. And of course we'll get the 1.035 squared. So 1.035 squared. And we're gonna get in this case 1.07 Point seven one two two five. Okay, so that becomes one plus k equals one point zero seven one two two five. I actually can bring this over here to solve. I'm going to subtract one from both sides, and so here k is equal to 0 0.071225, and we do a decimal slide of two. Now, it asks for the nearest tenth percent, so it looks like when n equals two, the growth rate is 7.1 percent. When n equals five, we follow the same process. We have one plus k is equal to one, one plus 0 0.035, but this time to the fifth power. So we'll grab our graphing calculator. Now the nice thing is we're going to just raise, take the same expression, 1.035, and we're just gonna make a slight adjustment from the two to a five. And we get 1.1876863. So one plus K equals 
0.6063 minus 1 on both sides. K is equal to 0 0.18767063. Our decimal slide two spaces, 1, 2. It looks like in this case that we'll need to look at the 6 and we add up here. So here our K value will be 18.8%. Now we try this again, except this time for a decade, which is in this case 10 years. So when N equals 10, again, 1 plus K equals 1 plus 0 0.035 to the 10th power. So 1 plus K is equal to Go back to our graphing calculator again. We're going to just copy the 1.035. This is the fifth power. And then change that 5 to a 10. Hit enter. And we get 1.41059 So we go back to our, our answers here and write in 1.41059 subtracting one from both sides k is equal to 0 0.41059 and again change the percent we're going to do a decimal slide of two and we're looking for nearest tenth so again we're looking at the five here and we add one to zero. So our answer for the total growth rate over a decade will be 41.1%. So my handwriting is terrible, ladies and gentlemen. 41.1%. Okay. And this is how we find the uh, find the total growth rate. Again, using our using our formula here. And it was nice in this case to use a graphing calculator to just make slight adjustments in this case. So we see here how the annual rate is going to be 3.5%. We see how the total change will be over those two, although those three different times. Two years, five years, and a decade, which is 10 years. Ladies and gentlemen, this will be the end of our first part of our Algebra 2, Exponential Functions, Lesson Number 7, Mindful Manipulation of Percents, Home to View. And so if you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the comment section below. And if you found this homework helpful, I mean, I definitely recommend to work out the questions on your own again and again to get used to this formula. And again, placing, knowing where to place the, the different values. This way you're prepared for any other questions that might come up like this. Okay, don't forget to watch part two. And again, if you found it helpful, please give us a video a like, subscribe to the channel, and turn on notifications for any, uh, when new videos are added. Thank you so much for watching. Look forward to seeing you in the next video. Take care and be safe.